Do you see the love in the people who are struggling for the earth dance? The sooner we work together, the more we have a chance. For the love that sets you free, only love can set us free. Give us strength to live, give us strength to work. For your education, for your food, for your people, for the nature of your place. Okay, it is October the 3rd, and this is the progress report on the bahia grass and of course it's not just bahia grass but it's what's on the growing on the roots of the bahia grass that we're interested in which is mycorrhizal fungi the uh, bahia grass is simply a medium for growing the mycorrhizal fungi to, m to make a, a medium that we can apply to the roots of uh, plants for next year so we've got them in these little bags I believe you can see that uh, plastic bags and uh, we're just going to chop up all that all the root stock and uh, that will become our uh, medium our inoculating medium okay it's October 13th uh, and uh, I'm giving my uh, bahia grass a uh, little water here not sure how long the warm weather is going to last um, so anyway, uh, you can see it in these containers. So that's kind of it, and uh, we'll be harvesting soon. But uh, like to show it in different stages. There's actually about 15 bags here. Those little white bags down there that you can see, and uh, they should be just just chuck full of mycorrhizal fungi. Okay, this is our mycorrhizal uh, fungi growing patch of bahia grass. And I'm going to take some samples and have them tested to see if we have uh, a good uh, fungi population. So I'm taking random samples from different parts of the pile. So that's kind of what I'm doing and that's probably about it thanks okay it's December the 14th and I'm here at Niles Garden and we're harvesting uh, mycorrhizal fungi and the mycorrhizal fungi is not the grass it's what's on the roots of the grass as you probably know from the other videos you can find other videos uh, talking about the whole process of growing it and everything. So what I'm doing is taking these scissors and I'm cutting off the tops because the mycorrhizal fungi are on the roots. And uh, so all I want is the, the medium that's surrounding the roots and the roots and we're going to chop them up. Okay, so I'm going to get the last of the grass out of here. And then here's what I've got left is the medium and the roots here little plastic from the bag <laughs> which I don't think is supposed to be in there then I'm going to flip it over you can come on in for this shot I'll flip it over and then you can see I already did one here's another one see all that rootstock now that rootstock has got to be littered with these uh, mycorrhizal fungi they're called propagules propagules I had to look it up too so uh, and that's the kind of the body that is going to, uh, that I'm going to put on other plants. I can't, it, they're all microscopic, so I can't do much, you know, I can't tell you, show you a propagule. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that a sharp knife actually works better than those nice scissors I had. Uh, it's just more direct, and you can pull that stuff off pretty easily that top, the shoot. Well, here's the uh, root mass of one of the mycorrhizal fungi. Uh, they were seven gallon bags. And, uh, and what I'm trying to do now is cut the roots up. A sharp knife 
will be good for this. I'm probably going to go home and get a butcher knife and a stone and just keep working at it till I get it done. Um, the bags tended to deteriorate and they're a waste product and uh, I'd like to figure out a way to do that. Maybe I'll use those five gallon plastic buckets next year. I'll have to dedicate them because I have to drill holes in them but that might work. So, But here, back away a little bit and you can see I got a whole wheelbarrow full, <laughs> full of this stuff so I'm gonna have plenty here so thank you very much that's the harvest so far I'll have to whack it all up until it's like ground like the commercial products you get okay we're trying to separate the medium from the bigger roots so they don't disturb the cells in our uh, uh, you know when we plant our little seedlings start our seedlings so what I'm doing is I'm setting this aside and uh, uh, I'm going to ask for help and I don't think we need to use this so I'm I'm hoping that there's enough tiny roots in the in the medium to convey the uh, uh, the propagules to the uh, to the roots of the plant so that's it.